Good morning. A little chilly out this morning, but overall temperatures not too bad. Very mild out. We're in the 40s up to the north, 49 in Santa Fe, 52 in Albuquerque, and then down in the east and southeast, starting off in the mid to upper 50s. For a lot of you up to the north, this may be the warm spot in your day as we head through the next few days in the afternoons, topping out only in the 40s and 50s as some much cooler air moves our way, bringing in rain and even some snow up in the higher elevations. But right now, uh, just rain to talk about, and we did have some showers move through Albuquerque earlier. The next batch on its way moved through Los Lunas and now on I-25 between Los Lunas and Albuquerque. So heading there in the next 30 minutes, you definitely want to keep the umbrella close by this morning. Uh, those are going to continue to head on up to the north and east, but most of the action now out across the eastern half of the state. Santa Rosa finally getting a break from some of the heavier stuff as it moves just to the north of Tucumcari and then along I-40 near Tucumcari, some heavy, very heavy rain headed in that direction. So again, if you're traveling along I-40, definitely allow for some extra time with all the wet roads around and the heavy rain still coming down along I-40 to the east there. Down the southeast, had some stuff move through Roswell. That's now moving on out to the east and, of course, up in the northern mountains, Santa Fe, still seeing some light to even moderate rain, that moving to the northeast, and then some spot showers up in the northern mountains. But things will be winding down from southwest to northeast as we head through the afternoon. And so uh, by this afternoon, uh, mainly just a few showers remaining up in the northeastern part of the state with partly cloudy skies. The winds are going to pick up this afternoon, and the wind really becoming an issue as we head toward your Thursday tomorrow. And that's when we're going to be watching system number two. Uh, that's heading our way Thursday by Thursday night into early Friday, bringing more showers across the four corners up into the northern mountains and overnight tomorrow night. As those temperatures drop, some of that rain will actually change over into snow. So we have winter storm warnings in effect for the San Juans in Colorado. They are up above 10,000 feet, could pick up over a foot of snow, and of course winds gusting at 35, 45 miles per hour, and even up near Chama looking at uh, some rain and snow, changing over into some snow Thursday night into early Friday too. So it could be a very messy start to your Friday morning, and of course gusty winds on top of that, and wind advisory is not out of the question for parts of the state Thursday and Friday. Your forecast now for Southern Colorado. Colorado. So for today, mostly cloudy, mainly just talking about rain. More showers in the forecast tomorrow, then rain and snow for the mountains as we head into tomorrow night, early Friday. Up in the northwest, highs today in the 60s. It will be a lot cooler with mostly cloudy skies, then 50s for highs as we head toward the end of the week, and then the unsettled weather moves out this weekend. Down in the southwest, Silver City topping out at 72 degrees. Uh, we will be looking at mainly partly cloudy skies today, just a slim chance of a storm this afternoon. I think mainly dry for the southwest, most of the action over in the east. Southeast, some showers right now, and then still a chance for a few showers this afternoon, and still quite warm too. Up in the northeast, 71 for Springer, 78 in Conscious. Scattered showers in the forecast for today, then a little drier tomorrow. Northern mountains, windy uh, with scattered showers today, then more unsettled weather tomorrow and Friday, with highs only in the low to mid 50s as we wrap up the week. Lows in the mid 30s for Santa Fe as we head toward Friday. East Mountains highs today in the 60s with scattered showers and a few thunderstorms as we head toward the afternoon. And for the metro, scattered showers mainly in the morning, drying things out this afternoon with partly cloudy skies, breezy conditions, and cooler with highs in the low 70s. And as we head toward the end of the work week, it will be cooler for sure. Temperatures only topping out in the low to mid 60s. Overnight lows down into the low to mid 40s. And of course, right now, uh, not doing too bad. A little bit of a wet start at Balloon Fiesta apart but 53 degrees so at least it's not a cold rain uh, right Ian yeah not too bad out here Kristen you know it is disheartening to know that there are no balloons going up today but it does make me feel good to know the station didn't skimp on jackets because <laughs> this thing has been keeping me dry most of the day and you know we're seeing a lot of umbrellas out here and we just had a vendor open up to our right here um, some of them, I think, having the feeling that today's not going to be a total bust because the park is still open and it is free and there is free parking. So there is kind of motivation for some people to come out here and still, uh, you know, it's kind of like a mini state fair, I guess. You got a lot of vendors still out here. I've seen some food sales going on. We're seeing some pilots arrive. And I think what we're hearing from a lot of the pilots is, yeah, they may not be going up today. But today's their break, so they can maybe do a little shopping, kind of uh, talk with each other and enjoy uh, maybe a less chaotic day as far as getting going and getting the balloons up. But still plenty to do here and still a decent amount of people, even though we have had uh, a little bit of rain out here. Kristen? All right, thanks so much, Ian. And of course, the key word, I think, free if you head out to the park today. Still lots going on there, and the rain's not going to last all morning long. Please stay tuned. It looks like Disney is going big with 3D. We'll tell you how coming up next in your entertainment headlines. Stick around.